Hello, 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 all of our Motor City Solutions Facebook followers. Thank you so much for tuning in to our weekly live feed at 3. What time is it by now? About 3.15. I was having some connection issues um, once again. So, sorry, but thank you so much for tuning in with us. Um, my name is Gwen Stacy. I will be your hostess with the mostest for the show today. Hi, Jeremy West. Hi, Mark W. Um, what we are going to do, if you have not yet seen a live feed from Motor City, we are going to walk around our 28,000 square foot hot rod shop here in Taylor, Michigan. If you are not familiar with um, Taylor, we are about 10 miles out from Detroit. Yes, Detroit, Michigan. The... Um, the actual famous Motor City. Uh, if you are, I know we have some people watching from all over the world actually. I'm actually going to share some stats with you guys that are pretty cool. Um, but if you are not familiar with Detroit, um, Detroit is famously known as the Motor City, uh, the Motor City State uh, City in the Motor City state of Michigan. And um, we have the big three, four GM Chrysler here. This is where Henry Ford had um, built up and created and successfully run the assembly line, okay? And um, so cars, classic cars, cars in general, were um, kind of originated here. And it's kind of a big deal. So um, with the stats that I wanted to share with you guys, I was looking at um, our Facebook data. Shout out to Facebook for putting out some good data because they do. So last week on our Motor City, uh, Motor City Solutions Facebook page, we reached 9.6 thousand people through, and with reached that means they saw, they saw a post from ours or a picture or they commented, um, shared or liked the video. So we reached 9.6 thousand. Out of the 9.6 thousand, 80% were men, 20% were women. Um, so shout out to all the ladies watching the video. Ladies, we need to get some more of you watching the video. What do you want to see? Comment below. Let us know. Um, and then it also told us the top 10 cities and states that were watching the live feeds. So for cities, no surprise, um, Detroit, Michigan was number one. Uh, number two, Taylor, Michigan, where we are located here. Uh, number three was Romulus, Michigan. Number four was Westland, okay? Um, and number five, what was number five? Westland, Romulus, Taylor, Westland, Romulus, Taylor, Detroit. Um, New Boston, my hometown. Yes, how could I forget? So shout out to everybody that um, was watching from those cities. Comment below. Let me know where you're watching from right now. I'm kind of curious. Um, and as for the countries, okay, this is pretty interesting. So if you um, could guess the number one country, I keep wanting to put my finger up, but I broke one nail on my hand. I'm so upset about it. So if I do, don't make fun of me. Okay, listen, it just happened. I don't want to talk about it. Um, but anyways, okay, so the top, top five countries watching the live feed last week. Number one, no surprise, USA, America. Shout out to um, all of our Americans watching. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. Number two, can you guys guess? I'm not seeing the comments. Okay, Canada. Shout out to Canada for sending over the legends Gordie Howe and Steve Eiserman here to hockey town they did uh, very well for us um number three okay is mexico so shout out to all of our mexicans watching rochester hills jeremy west shout out to rochester hills michigan um so three was mexico no no no. you know what i slipped it happens we're live it's raw um number three was actually australia that's what number three so Number one, USA. Number two, Canada. Number three, Australia, which is not surprising because we know that we ship a lot of our lightweight composite parts. And I know this is a long intro, but bear with me because it's some cool information. 
Um, so we ship a lot of our lightweight composite parts, if you guys can see here behind me. Got a couple of them on display. Um, carbon fiber, fiberglass, lightweight race car parts. We have um, front fascias, doors, hoods. If you're interested in checking out some of our lightweight composite parts, race parts, um, I will put the link below this video after I post it. And if you could just go to MotorCitySolutions.com, we have three different three different options. You can um, check out Motor City Solutions, Motor City Solutions Hot Rods and Restorations, and then Motor City Solutions Lightweight Composite. So I will put the link below, and if you're interested, check it out. But yes, that, so we're not surprised that they were number three. We ship a lot of our composite parts to Australia. So thank you guys so much out there in Australia. Um, okay, and number four was Mexico, right? And then number five, ugh, I wrote it down, let me think, Mexico, Mexico, South Africa, South Africa, can you believe it? So yes, this um, little live feed that we're doing here is kind of, can I say going global, does that work? It's kind of going global, people from all over the globe are watching, so you guys, thank you so much. I love that you're tuning in with us. Um, if you are not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, definitely um, go to youtube.com, subscribe Motor City Solutions. Best regards from Iceland. Hey, Iceland's in the house. What's up, Iceland? <laughs> that is so cool. I just think it's fantastic. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. But um, yes, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe. Okay, and um, on this video, if you, I'm assuming maybe you liked our, Lo our Motor City Solutions Facebook page because you're checking out the video. If you haven't liked the page yet, go to the Facebook page, click like on Motor City Solutions, and on the right hand side, I can use, look, I'm going to use this hand because my nail's not broke. So on the right hand side of the video, there is a little bell. Do you see it? Hit that bell. Ding, ding. And every time we go live, you will get a notification. Um, so you can keep up with all the good classic car, uh, hot rod, and automotive stuff going around in and around the house. Okay, my um, co-worker is looking at me like I'm crazy here. So thanks, you guys, for tuning in. I know that was a long intro, but I wanted to let you know that people from all over the world were watching. I wanted to thank you guys so much. Um, we appreciate you. Hi, Jose. Thank you for tuning in. Jose is from France, so we got France in the house, Iceland, Sterling Heights, Michigan. What's up, you guys? Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to flip the camera around, and we can do our little shop tour here, see what the team is working on, see if we can get some tips and tricks from the guys. Um, we have been following the 1967 Mustang Fastback. Um, it is getting a complete, I don't want to say complete restoration because it's not getting mechanical, is it Rick? Uh, so. Some mechanical? Yep. So is it, would that be considered complete restoration? No. No. These guys, they know everything. Partial. So um, we have been following the 67 Mustang. Um, that did get primed. Shout out to Dave and Barb Hartline. I think Dave's in the house, but he might have left. No, he... Oh shoot, I'm coming for you Dave. Uh, and then Ricky is um, working on the 1970 Mach 1. This was a full restoration here at Motor City. Both cars will be going to the 2019 Detroit Autorama. Yes. I know. It's exciting. And we will be there, you guys. I just found out. Um, my boss told me today that we will be there. We will have the presence um, right in the middle, I think he was saying. I don't want to talk too much because I'm uh, not 100% on that. But I do know we'll be there. Thank you for being here and tuning in. And uh, okay, let's flip it up. I gotta switch my lens around too, so bear with me. I didn't use the new microphone, Rick. Why not? Because Jeff was in there chatting with me, and I didn't. By the time, uh, by the time it was time to go do the live feed, I, I didn't have, uh, I didn't have the setup correct. So you guys, shout out to Social Light. Um, Sociallighting.com. Here's a little example. Um, that's the that's a little selfie light because my lighting system's in there. But this is a wide angle lens from Sociallighting.com. I know my nail's broken. Don't make fun of me. Look at Ricky. Don't even flinch. Okay. Look at you. That's how the pros do it, you guys. 
Um, Happy New Year, David. So, um, yes, this is the wide angle lens from sociallighting.com. I love this website, you guys. I get a lot of our video equipment, even though, unfortunately, I'm not using a lot of it today. Um, and that is the difference there. I don't know if you guys could see that. So this is with the wide angle, this is without. What do you think, Jose? Big difference there? Okay, I'm gonna keep, hi Eddie. I'm gonna keep the wide angle lens on. I know it gets a little blurry on these sides there, but bear with us. We're, uh, we're gonna do what we can here. So, okay, Rick, what, um, you're on the 7D Mach 1 right now? Yep. What do you got going on today? I am assembling the door panels. Oh, really? Yes. Shouldn't they be doing that in the interior? Oh, there's no one in there today. Oh, I can do it all. Oh, well, look at that face. Look at that face. Okay, did you guys see that smile? Hey, hey, Anthony Amato. Thank you for tuning in. So this is... <laughs> look at this. Hold on. I'm sorry, you guys. We gotta... <laughs> Let me just make a little comment here. Go, Rick, go. <laughs> Who wrote this? Uh, Sancho wrote this. Sancho's fantastic. I love Mike. Shout out to Mike Sancho, our... Um, I don't, well, I guess it would be our building app manager. General manager. Yeah, general manager. There you go. So the door panel is looking good. Looking really good, actually. All brand new. Some assembly required. Some assembly required. <laughs> okay. Where did you order it from? I believe the panels are from CJ Pony Parts, and then some of the parts on it are from MPD. Okay, shout out to CJ Pony Parts. We've definitely been ordering with them since 2012 when we opened. I remember I used to have to process the invoices from CJ Pony. Ooh, what was that? Oh, wow, look at that, you guys. That was cool. A little Ford emblem. That's not a Ford emblem, Ricky. That's a I'm Mustang watching. emblem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Ford, though. Yes, you're right. True, true. Um, that's really cool. So what are you, you just clipping it in there? Yeah, I gotta get it to fit a little better. It's sticking up a little bit well, right pr here. Probably some adhesive maybe, right? No, it's got screws on the back. I just gotta get it to line up better. Okay. Gotta tweak it. Shout out to all of our Mustang owners, you guys. Comment below if you own a Mustang or you would like to own a Mustang. And shout out to the Maxim Club Southeastern Mush... Southeastern Mustang owners of Michigan, right? So we are proud sponsors of the Maxim Club. Um, so there you go. Here's a 1970 Mustang for you, proud yeah. Mustang owners. I don't think you guys see. You know, we got part of the dash in the car. Well, what are you doing? Which, what's here. the holdup, young man? Come on, they want to see something cool, right? Oh, they're laughing. Haha. -ha. We got the. Uh, the oh lower, my gosh. The lower part of the dash installed. I feel like the window Earlier glass is in too. Yeah, can, I I, can I go in here? You can. Here, you go. You want to you be the cameraman? You can talk, they can hear you. We don't have a mic. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. It won't break. Nope. Ah! So. Fantastic interior. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. No, it looks good. Again, we got the Retro Sound radio. Shout out to Retro Sound in the we house. We have the. Uh, the stock AC controls, but it's hooked up to a vintage air box, which is all modern air conditioning. Is this shut? Uh, leave that open. It's not adjusted right now. He's like, leave that open. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, there. We ended vintage up. Uh, air. Shout out to Vintage Air, you guys. We've been using them for years too. We assembled uh, the doors. We put dyno mat in the doors to help with the sound and the noise. Coolant? Is that the coolant stuff? Yep. Oh, literally, and, uh, look, it says coolant. We're just getting it together one piece at a time. Yes, shout out to Kevin Shelton, the owner of the 1970 Mach 1. Ricky, do you remember when this car first came in? I do. I know I say this every time, but for the people that are just tuning in with us, we have photos of Ricky pulling piles of leaves out of this car, okay, when it first came oh, in. Yeah, this there, was, was, there was rat's nest underneath the yes, hood. Yes, it was this guy. We literally had a show, an event, and I coordinate the events here at Motor City Solutions. Hot Rod Shop, and I said, Kevin, don't hate me for this, but I said, get that out. I said, get that out of the shop. That is disgusting. It really was. It was had been sitting outside for many a year, okay? It was well, rat's he, nest. He parked it in 1976. There you go. Hit him with some info, baby. That's right, Ricky. <laughs> tell him. Tell him. He parked it in 1976, okay? And how long did it sit for? Yeah, it's 40-something years. 40? 
And then when he finally decided to restore it, that's when he, that's when it yep, got that's moved when it came that here. parking spot. That's when it came here. Woohoo! And so, yes, so this car has come such a long way. It has been such a fun project working with Kevin. And shout out to Leah. Um, Kevin and Leah came here. He came, the owner saw the car get sprayed. Okay, that was really exciting. Um, I, I don't know if a lot of automotive body shops offer that to their customers, but I know the owner, Jeff, is always really adamant and offers that up. You know, if you're going to come get your car restored here, come on in and see it get sprayed because it's really exciting. There's a lot of heart and emotion that goes into this from the customers and from the guys working on the cars. And, um, yeah, so it's really cool, and it's been a really fun ride. Auto Ram is coming up quick. And I'm excited to get her done. Kevin, we'll see you soon. Can I come out? You can. Okay, you're like, you can. <laughs> Shout out to Dan, the cameraman, who's not here today. Dan, we miss you. Do you like being the cameraman, Rick? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I like I think I'm better at building cars than I am at being a cameraman. Well, I think I agree with that. But I think, look at my nail broke. You know. Oh. Oops. I tried to selfie mode it, but the wide angle lens had us black. Yeah. Okay, but I thought that was cool that you were when you were holding the camera and showing them like this. I think we should start doing that. We can. Yeah, I like that. See, it's a work in process, you guys. Um, all right, I like it. So I guess I'll walk on back down yonder. Yeah, you should probably catch Heartline before he leaves. Oh, okay. All right, Heartline, I'm coming for you. Thank you, Ricky. Yep. You guys, Rick Carpenter, one Good of our... Weekend. Thank you, sir. Master Mechanics here at Motor City Solutions. He has been with us since the very beginning. And loves working on classics. I think his first car was actually an old Galaxy. So it's kind of cool. You don't see a lot of youth that, um, you know, it appreciates, appreciates the classics. So I like it. So if you're just tuning in, you guys, we are live at our um, hot rod shop here in Taylor, Michigan. Um, we are walking through our 28,000 square foot hot rod shop. All classic cars pretty much, except for one 2013 Corvette, and I think we, oh no, yeah, 2014 Corvette, and we have a 2013 um, Challenger. Hi, Josh. Not much. I'm, uh, I'm kind of winging it today. I don't have any of the gear, really, except the lens. Oh, okay. So no microphones, but I did just get a really cool one in. Oh, hold on. And I broke a nail, I know. So, what's going on? Is this the um, so, 57 Chevy? Yeah, so oh my gosh! Chevy. I thought this was a different car. <laughs> this was a different car. No, nope, uh, we just kind of got done lining up all the front end sheet metal, um, which was an absolute nightmare. Why? Uh, it's just, it's all Taiwan parts. I mean... You sound like Johnson. Yeah, I know. You guys, jo um, Josh... Hoy is a fabricator here at Motor City Solutions. If you haven't met him, I just wanted to introduce Josh really quick. Um, telling us about the 57. Sorry to interrupt you, man. Okay, so first this car came to us and it was a cab. It was a cab on a frame. A cab on a frame. Everything else was already stripped off in this. There was not one bolt, one nut in this car. Truck. Um... So it's kind of hard for me to put together because I have no pictures of this thing when it was coming apart. I had no... Come closer. I don't have the mic. Sorry. I'm sorry. So this thing's been kind of a pain for me because I've had nothing to build this thing off of. I mm -hmm. don't have... I don't... We didn't get a chance to take it apart so nobody knows what went where, where went what. Um, how often do um how often do people bring cars in in pieces like that, Josh? Mm, it's hard to say. I mean, sometimes... Often. Well, it, it, seems in like baskets. It, comes, it seems like it comes in waves. Uh, I mean, it's weird to think about it, but a lot of our, uh, I don't want to say work, but it seems like we get things in waves. We don't just get oh, yeah, a yeah. here and there. It's like right now we've got one, two, three, 67 GTOs. I oh, think. yeah. Okay, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, like when you Chevelles know, come in, yeah, a t like four Chevelles. When darts come in, we'll have like four four darts at a time yeah, so okay it's crazy i get really a basket case for a while but then all of a sudden we'll get, we'll get four three, basket three, cases three <laughs> yes hey so, shout out to bill deister um one of the owners of motor city solutions hey bill how you doing sorry josh i know you're fine so it's kind of hard to say on how often we get it because you know we might go only a couple weeks 
between one basket case to another, and mm -hmm. we might go, you know, a year, year and a half between basket cases. So, um, okay, can you tell us, can you elaborate a little bit about, um, it came to us with just the cab, just the cab, just the frame, and you put the bed on? Yeah, everything from here to back, except for these side steps, is 100% brand new. And if you, these are the original. Those are original? The uh, rear tail lights, yes. Oh, cool. I like that. Other than that, the rear fenders, the sides, the gate, the front bed panel, the floor, the bumper, the bumper brackets is 100% brand new. Did you weld it? Is it all set? Weld it on? Ready to roll? The, obviously, the bed is new. Fantastic. Look, well, it's got the wood bed. I love that. Everything right now is mock up. Okay, it's um, mocked. A mock up. Because, you know, there's there's got to be some tweaking, some, you know, manhandling around. So Adjusting. Really... Massage it. Is that what Tim said the other day? Massage it. Yeah. Like, the floor still has to come out. So, I didn't bother, you know, putting the lock washers and the nuts on the floor because we got to take it back out. Anyway. Right, right, right. Right. I see that a lot with you guys. You guys got to do so that a lot, it seems. Everything on this truck is 100% pure mock up. You know, we're just kind of going through, making sure everything's fitting. If it's not fitting, adjusting it, so after it's done from paint, we have no issues. Everything just pulls together right and smooth. Right. You know, we're not manhandling the part with a fresh coat of paint on it. Right, exactly. I love it. All right, well, this is awesome. I think I um, see uh, Mr. Hartline over there. I'm trying to, is he still over there? Who? Um, Dave Hartline. He's the 67 mu Mustang owner. So, anyways, I just wanted to run over there before I lose him. But yes, the 57 looks fantastic. If you guys just tuned in, this this uh, 57 Chevy pickup came to us. Just a cab, just a frame. Josh got it all put together. The front sheet metal, right? Is that what you said? This week? Yep. Last week he put the um, bed on. Trying to get all the front end sheet metal lined up because it just doesn't want to jack together. And a lot of people think, oh, I got a 67 Camaro Mustang, whatever your case may be, and you think you got a brand new hood and it's going to pull it right out of your <laughs> We know better, case. yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I love it. It's looking fantastic. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, no problem. Take care. See you later. Have a good weekend. You too. Uh, 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 um, what else is going on in the shop here? Ooh, I love this. Shout out to Floyd Warsler. He also has the 36 Dodge back there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, nope, can't. Can I? No, I can't. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so if you can see the 36 Dodge past uh, Dave there, he's got that. And then this is his 36. Is this a 36, Dave? 37 Buick. Buick Limousine back in the house. Sometimes um, the classics will come back because I feel like once customers find out that we can do, you know, if they need paint, we can do paint, mechanical, fab, custom, pretty much anything. You know, a lot of the times these customers, they come once, they come for life because, you know, it's about we build that relationship with them. And not just them, but honestly, their cars too. You know, these mechanics... Once you take your classic, get it worked on, and, you know, let's say Ricky does the wiring, you know, and there's an issue down the road, you want, um, you know, you'd want that same mechanic working on, working on the issue if you put the harness in. Right, Scott? Just say yeah. I know. <laughs> you guys, this is Scott Dranzella and Dave Azell. Um, <clears throat> looks like they are working on the limousine, yeah? Can I, um, can I open the door? Can I go in here? Yeah? Okay, I just didn't, you know, wanted to make sure. Got to check with the, got to check with the big guys here. Okay. See, thank you. I knew you'd have something for me. <laughs> so let's check out the inside. Oh, I can't get in. How do I do this? Ooh, got it. Sorry, got it. Sorry. So much fun working here. Okay, how do I do this one? Sorry, Floyd. Ooh. Okay, so we got the suicide doors here. Um, I don't know if this is gonna open the way all the way. It's going to shut because of the way it's, um, because the angle it's on. But, so 37 Buick Limousine, you guys. Super nice. Suicide doors on the interior. Okay. I don't know what Scott's doing, but it looks like they're busy. I don't want to interrupt them. Okay, this is a little bit of what the front is looking like. Hey, Janet Muncie. Thanks for, tu thanks for tuning in with us. Jose Bella. I see that much. I know that means beautiful. I'll have to, um, translate after the video. So, um, I'm, I don't want to interrupt them, but I do want to check this out a little bit. Look at this. 
This is looking like all original, kind of. Scott, is this all original? This car? Yeah, tell me about it. It has a uh, big block in it, so no, it's it's not all original. <laughs> okay. Uh, it has a Chevy big block in it and lots of upgrades. Okay. So what about like I'm sorry I guess I should have said yeah like the, the the dash and stuff aside from the radio and the air conditioning is is pretty stock and I'm sure the colors and <laughs> the colors yeah it's got to be some, right some work has been changed out at at some point yeah this is too cool and then so does this window go down back here come on don't you want to play with me let's come on come in here it, it does go down come help me last I remember it was pretty hard to put up and down. This is me, I'm making a pouty face. He says he doesn't care, but come on. Tell me more, open the door, get in here. Hey, hey, scooters in the house. Woo, woo. Sorry, I have fun. This is awesome. So yeah, this is this is the way we put up <laughs> to keep you in the back. Oh, <laughs> get out, what do you mean? Hey, wait, what do you mean, where are you going? Oh, I got a broken nail, don't look at it. This is awesome, that's really nice. The window is huge, man. And uh, yeah, the DVD player I don't think is stock. Oh, so. cool! <laughs> this is crazy. No, you don't think so? They didn't have those back then. Oop! Got to watch my step. Heed Dave's warning. Okay, now we'll switch roles. Ready? Wow! Look at the back. Look at the inside of this thing. So, what are you doing on this uh, on this one right now? Uh, transmission service. Uh, fuel tank had a leak on it, so I was fixing that and hooking up a uh, kick down for the transmission. So. Janet says, BBC, yay, smart owner, LOL, I'm a Chevy all the way. This limo is beautiful. Oh, because I got the Chevy, yep. big black. Nice, very good. Did it just come back into us? Uh, yeah, we got it in yesterday. Okay, so I think that we did some work on the um, 37 here before. I was saying uh, when I rudely interrupted you and Dave, I was saying that a lot of the times these classics come in and you know they come once and they come forever because once you have your classic you bring it to a, a shop you could do you know get anything that you wanted done and it's good to have the same mechanics work like if Ricky put a wiring harness in late down the road you have a wiring harness problem same mechanic work on it that put it in right yeah it makes a lot of sense yeah yeah so we find that a lot here at Paul Martin he's had upgrades throughout the years many customers he's had a lot of upgrades on his car yeah <laughs> yes he has so we see that a lot you guys and um Floyd, the owner of the Buick, is one of them. Can I? How do I do this? I'm try. I'm over here trying to do this. Scott's looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay. Look at this. This is a little seat. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Oh, jeez, I need some grease. <laughs> I love it. This is awesome. Very, very nice. Okay, that's the look that you want me to let you get back to work. Yes. Okay. Can Can I have a hand, Dal? Hello, sir. Please wait. Let me get this. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Scott Dronzella, you guys, one of our master mechanics here. Thank you, sir, at Motor City Solutions. And um, we are, hey, hey, look what we got over here. Trouble and trouble. What about you? Double trouble. <laughs> you guys, this is Mr. Adwell. The, it's um a selfie light. Cause, cause you were in there chatting with me. So what had happened was I didn't get to use my. This is a wide angle lens. Check it out. I'm gonna show them. Okay, so watch. How do I get get this? No, no. Watch, watch. Okay, so do this. Okay, so this is this is on selfie mode. You guys, can you see over here? Okay. So this is without the wide angle lens, right? Now check it out. Everyone's gonna be bored watching. Okay. No, there there's a lot of people watching. We don't normally have this many. Okay, so see how, oops, you know, you got to adjust it, but see how, man, I just gained 50 pounds. no, you didn't, you know what, when we were doing that, uh, filming, the cameraman said that, I said, does the camera really add 10 pounds, he said, no, it just shows people how fat they really are, <laughs> he said that to me, because, because I felt like it added a lot, to me, as, not, you guys look great back there, yes, so look at, look at that, did you see that, look at this, amazing, oh yeah, it looks much better, Oh yeah, much better. Cool. Put it back on then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flip it back around. Selfie here. All right, so I know I got a lot going on, gentlemen. Yeah, a lot going on. I got a lot going on. That's okay. That's what makes life you lost fun. The cameraman, where's cameraman Dan? I know. That's what I was saying. I was like, I'm out here by myself today. 
I didn't introduce you gentlemen yet. So this is Jeff Adwell, owner of Motor City Solutions, Hot Rods, and Restorations. Hold on, I gotta fix my wide angle lens here. Can you guys see out there? Comment below, let us know. Do to do. And then that is Jeff Johnson, sheet metal extraordinaire. Huh? Okay, good, got it. What do you guys uh, got going on back here? Talking about the Autorama? I'm Autorama. Woohoo! We're gonna be there, right? We'll have a big presence. I'm excited. I know that we have two cars. We just went and saw the 1970 Mach 1. Ricky is doing some door panels. That's gonna be there. And the um, 67 Fastback will yeah. be th uh, will be there, but at our maybe not at our uh, spot. Dave has another spot. Oh, okay, but it'll still be there. So exciting. Yeah, so cool. There. We're looking forward to that. How is uh? I, is that what you guys were discussing? We were. <laughs> sorry to rudely interrupt, gentlemen. Sorry. We're used to it. <laughs> right? I know. Sorry. <laughs> right, right. You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Yeah, right around the corner. I know. What, when is it? March? It's, it's usually March. First weekend, first week of March. So how many years have we been, um, ha have we had a presence at the Detroit Autorama? I know the last two years for sure. Three years. Three? One way or another, there's been cars that were done here at Autorama. Oh, so oh, for, since yeah, we've since we've been open se yeah, seven yeah, years, I think it would be. Uh, with the, you know, American Speed thing. American, American Speed, Speed, our sister company. Shout out to American Speed Co. So that's been two years, three years. Yeah. Yep, so it's been a couple years. Steady, steady. So we will be there this year, too, and it will be. Two years in a row. Woo-woo! Yes, that's right, sir. I think we have some trophies up front. Look at the body man. Look at the body man body says paint. outstanding body and yeah, paint. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that just was perfect. Okay. I love it. So speaking of body man, um, looks like you got something on your, whoa, something on your hands here. Yeah. Yep, we're cutting this apart. So, uh, How's that going? Uh, I got to get the other rocker put in there. I've done the um, inners. Can I go in here? A pillar. Yeah, you can go in here if you want. Be careful it's all We're going in. Oh, they always are like, be careful, you're going to hurt yourself. Here, do, you be the cameraman for a second. If you drop that little light, don't worry. It's okay. you know, yeah, you know, I'm, it's usually a hammer and chisel that I'm used to. So. Now you have delicate uh, hands. Uh, uh, delicate Johnson. Did you see that meme that somebody made of you? No, no. It was a picture of you like this from the Jets commercial, and it was like, I can fix anything. Oh, nice. I no, like, I did. Oh, yeah, you, you messaged me that. I thought you'd done that. I didn't think No, I didn't do that. that. What do you think? Uh, I like you that much? I don't like no. you that much, bro. I need to get some of those. Oh yeah, they work. Yeah, they work. I think they're talking business here, but I'm trying to quote this meme. It's hilarious. But I, but I can fix anything in case oh, you haven't noticed. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, fix this because my nail yeah. broke. I can do that. I get some bond. Mix some bondo up. No, I mix some bondo up. Make you a whole you have new nail. Super glue? I'm serious. No, about. I don't. You want to talk I don't, about it? I don't use super glue. I use a welder. I got a MIG welder. Look at how bad right does this look. Like, don't judge me right now. Well, don't, like, well, don't show it to nobody. I can't. Yeah. It's my finger. Don't, yeah. <laughs> don't show right. it to nobody. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. I feel like every time I put my hand on it. Nobody will notice if you don't show it. So let's talk about um, the 67 Tempest. Yes. Lama Tempest. No, Tempest I think Lamont? this is a Le Mans. Tempest Le Mans? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. I think this is a Le Mans. Okay, yeah. so where, um, last time we were here, I think you were doing the inner... Well, okay, I was well, doing... now there is no rocker. Yeah, now there's no rocker over there. You can see <laughs> okay. that's gone. But uh, this side here was where we replaced all of this in here, this inner structure, that rocker area. And uh, this side over here, we had to do some inner, um, I guess it would be a hinge plate. Where? where um it's actually right there yep a little bit under there if i have my flashlight oh you get the flashlight right there what about the selfie light man that check selfie this out light don't work, man. Grab, yes it does look it has three different light. versions so, one two three look at this boom hit him with the hasman no, no, it don't work okay sorry it does right all right fine that's fine that's fine <laughs> Okay, so. so anyhow, some of those inners in there had to be repaired. In here? Yeah, see where the, you can basically see the the newer metal seat yeah, down sure, it back in sure. there. Yeah, so that had to get uh put in. So now I can actually put the rocker in, and then make the other piece for that. So you ended up taking out the whole rocker yeah, here? Yeah, Why? I thought well, was that originally well, what was once the plan? Again, once the plan again, was? remember how we did the the. Riding from the inside skin. out. Yep. So you can see all that rust on the inside of that panel. You know, yes. watch that's very sharp. I know, yeah, I know. I knew sharp. you were gonna say yeah. that. Yeah, so 
that has to that has to go. You know, we could we could have fixed the one little spot, and then you know, six months from now, it would have rusted out in another spot. You know, so yeah. Let me show so. them the other side. So you would never know that. Yeah, looking at the other. Yeah, side. looking at the other side, you guys. Bear with us on the camera yeah, situation. Yeah. Um, but yeah, check out. So this is the outside of the outer rocker. Then would that be okay? And then this is the inside. And John, can you see it? I'm going to put the light in there so now you can, well, if you duck your head and slide in with that seat, you'll be in <laughs> Bear with yeah. us, you guys. Yeah, so that's what the inside of that panel looks like. So Yeah, so you know, like when I you said, talk about rotting from the yeah, inside so out, if, man. If it rusted a hole here and we fixed just that outer, you know, six months from now a year, it rust out right there, you know, so yeah. it, it, you gotta you got to be careful when you repair these cars to keep in mind with that, you know, and most people don't realize how these cars do, they rot from the inside out, you know, they never rot from the outside in, mm -hmm. you know, so. Right. Uh, so if you see rust mind. on an outside of a classic, you pretty much know the insides. Yeah, I mean, there again, the outside of that panel looks like nothing's wrong with it. Right, <laughs> so the, right, looks this, perfect. Yeah, oh, look at, look, check rust. this out, look, I got a little, woohoo, I don't even have to duck. Yeah. Hey, this is like a big puzzle piece maze of a classic. And Sorry, okay. Before we're done cutting this car apart, you know, you know what's going to be gone. This whole back could be gone. I know. If it's in your area, you we already to, know. You have to do this in sections. You can't, you know, I, ideally right now what I'm going to do is put the other rocker in just like this one. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I didn't is, notice that yeah, one was done. Oh, my gosh, dude. Wow, you got a lot done. Holy cow. Panel here. Chance, bro. And then this piece here had to be made because they don't make this piece anymore. So what do you mean they don't make this they, piece they anymore? They just don't make this piece. You know, they've not gotten to the point where they're restamping that piece. So oh, that piece kidding. had to be made. And um, Obviously now, you did that. Yep, I made that piece and uh. So what did you make it out of? Just random, well, just like, how did that stock, go? Yep, this flat stock sheet metal. You know, that's, you know, 16th um, thickness steel, which is thicker than the part that was originally put in there. Uh -huh. But if I can, I'll overbuild something versus underbuild, you know. Uh -huh. So now we get a... Uh, I feel like you're constantly doing that, doing the overbuilding. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we still have to be in consideration of <sighs> if somebody gets in an accident in this car, it has to be able to take an accident, you know. So Yeah. Uh, safety, you know, that's a safety issue as far as just if you overbuild something, you're better off versus underbuilding anytime. Right. But, um, so, so now we got this side wrapped up. I get this side wrapped up, then I can put the floor in. Once I put the floor in... I can set this on a cart and get it off the rotisserie, and then I'm going to cut the firewall out of it because this is part of the firewall right here, and it's all rotted. Yeah. So that oh this will, the the floor will support the car now. Uh huh. You know, once I yeah. get the floor put in it, so I can cut that out. Dude, that's crazy. You know? So remember, I did it to the Mustang, though. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah. So, no, I know you did yeah. it, but now you you explaining it that way, yeah. and then. So we're going to do it in stages. I'll get that cut out. I'll get that piece welded in. Then I can basically set the car back on the frame, uh -huh. and then I'll cut the whole back of the car off, and then that way I can kind of use the frame to help support my body panels when I put them back on, you know. Yeah. So. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, that's 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 rust. That's the enemy. That's the cancer. That's the enemy. Yeah. No, that's just Ricky. Just kidding. Yeah, that's just Ricky. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, what? There's supposed to be something there. Supposed to be something here, sir? There's supposed to be something, here, there's supposed to be something right here. Me, you know, yeah. we're, we're, Most cars I get don't have anything right there. Right. right. Well, yeah. You there's know, if it's in Johnson's area, like yeah. it's there's not going to be a floor <laughs> or half of the car at some point. Yeah. This is the um, Tempest Clubhouse, okay? Secret password if you want in. Uh, Tempest? No. Le <laughs> Mans. Yeah, Le Mans. Actually, this is a Le Mans. Yeah. 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 Why is it the Tempest Clubhouse? Oh, ah! Kill me! Okay, I gotta get out of here. Here, could you hold that while I uh, maneuver my way? I like you guys you being escape? the cameraman. Watch it, watch it, watch I it. Am... Jeez, Rick, you could have landed a hand. You're the softest thing in Just the kidding. building over here. Uh -huh. Me? Look, I ain't soft, bro. I'll mess you up, bro. Look at that pile of mess there. Sorry. Look at yeah. that pile of mess. Yeah, I thought he was talking about me for a second. I'm like, what? It's actually uh, part of this car. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, what is this? What is, what is this part? That's a sandy belt. Yeah. Well, that, that actually Anybody good. need some scrap? Yeah. Crap? Jap? Back in World War II, they were out of stuff. Sorry. Okay. Actually, shout out to um, 
speaking of that, shout out to the American, guess who's been watching? American Muscle Car Club from China, right? But it's called American Muscle Car Club, but it's written in Chinese, you know, obviously. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I asked the guy. They are from Taipei, Taiwan in the Republic of China. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is. And um, actually, they, uh, the gentleman leader of the club there, or group, it's a group on Facebook, he was telling me how big the um, muscle car industry is over there in China. Yeah, yeah. well that's where um, Taiwan anyhow, the Taiwan, Golden that's where he's from. Yeah, Golden Star is restamping these cars. Oh know? yeah, we get a lot of our parts. Yeah, so Shout out to really Gold Star. Golden Star. Help, you know, our uh, muscle cars would, would uh, definitely... Um, Oh, he's telling me timing. I'm sorry. I distracted you. Timing is everything. Timing is everything. Okay. Yeah, but anyhow, without them stamping these parts for these muscle cars, I wouldn't be able to build this car. All these parts are coming from Taiwan. Hey, hey. So shout out. We Golden love Star. it. Yep, shout out to Gold Golden Star. Yep, we get a lot of parts. Okay, okay. Ricky's on me. I got to go because of the timing. But, gents, I'll leave you to the Lamaze Clubhouse here. Yep. Thank you so much, sir. I think um, I'm pretty sure I got to go but really quick i know i just saw some trouble in the house sorry <laughs> they like keep all business hello, hello. <laughs> how you guys doing this is um our operations manager mike sancho to the right you guys this is dave hartline owner of the 67 mustang fastback and here we have tnt AKA Dynamite, working on the Mustang here, <laughs> Tim and Todd. Well, how's it going, you guys? Good. Are you excited, Dave? I'm pumped. Yeah? Awesome. Autorama 219? 219. 219. Yes. Taking home the belt. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So how exciting was it to know, I was actually pretty excited to know that Tim here had worked on almost the exact same car. He's worked on several. Cars. And it got... And it got on the cover of Mustang Monthly. Yeah. Are you going to get me on the cover or not? Uh, we're going to work on it, right? Ask, they're the guys to ask, not me. Don't ask me. They're the ones who make the magic happen. This guy just got cars and magazines for days, huh? <laughs> yeah, a few cars in my day, me and Mike, yeah. That's awesome. I love it. Well, it's looking good, you guys. How is it uh, coming along here? Uh, Mm hmm Looks like you got it primed. Yeah, we primed that the other day. Yeah, I thought, you know, what happened? I thought you weren't going to make any big moves like that without me. We're supposed to live feed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just, it's not, it's for the viewers, Mike. <laughs> Jeff was in there talking to me, and I was trying to set it up, and he was like, doo -doo -doo. he's like, hey, what time is it? And I was like, ah, I got to go. Yeah, so that didn't work, but next week we'll do it. But I got the wide angle lens. Oh, is that the blue light you got? No, this is old. This is junk. Oh, it's not junk. Just kidding. I love this thing. I, I do. I did. I did a shout out to sociallighting.com. But no, I had to buy all this stuff. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, we'll check in next week and see what the update on the Mustang is. But it is looking good. It'll be blue next week. Hold on one more time. I think we gotta we gotta get that real close up one more time. It'll be blue, It'll next, be blue week. next week. Yeah, Brittany Blue. Uh nope, but the lady called me today. Shout out to Chamberlain Marketing. He's like, I don't even have mine. You guys uh, I'm I'm getting out of here. This is getting this is getting real uh yeah, I'm getting real crazy. I'm getting out of here, you guys. Ah, bye. <laughs> uh they me. Just kidding. Okay, you guys, so um, thank you so much for tuning in with us today. I know it was kind of a crazy little live feed here, um, but we have... Oh, Barb! I just saw Barb Hartline. Shout out to Barb. She is the actual... Can I say the actual owner? Well, Barb and Dave are married. They're the owners of the Mustang, but what had happened was Barb's parents gave it to her when she was a young teen. So, um, so I say it's really hers, but it's theirs, of course. So sorry, Barb. Um, I'm just shutting down the live feed here, but um, Mustang is looking really good. I hope you can come in and visit soon. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'm out of breath. I was like running up here. <sighs> okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, just a little reminder, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, don't forget, go to YouTube, subscribe, Motor City Solutions, hit the bell on the right-hand side of this video to get alerts every time we go live. Right, Josh? Woo-woo! 
And then follow us on Insta. Hey, I thought you were gonna say goodbye with me. Follow us on Instagram, you guys, Snapchat, Twitter, Motor City Solutions. We are out of here. Thanks so much for checking us out. Next Friday at 3. We'll see yep. you then. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye. Bye.